It's 2031. Do you know where your trousers are? We're the sexy robot party. Everybody's disco dancing. We're the sexy robot party. Everybody's disco dancing. There's a lot of time capsule stuff that's been going on on the interweb this week. I'm not exactly sure why November is suddenly time capsule month, but I guess it is. But here on Mystic, or M-S-T-H-K, or Mystic, <laughs> as Tom likes to pronounce it, we are doing time capsules. I'm going to do the, I'm in 2011, and I'm telling 2031 kind of what's going on now, but also a little bit about what I hope is going on in 2031. Because as Red taught us in the Shawshank Redemption, hope is a good thing, maybe the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. It is a little bit weird, I think, to talk to yourself 20 years from now, because in one respect, 20 years is a really long period of time, and in another respect, 20 years is really not a very long period of time. Because when you think about time, most people think of it as a straight linear cause and event type thing, but in actuality, it's a little bit more wibbly, wobbly, timey, wimey. That sentence sort of got away from me, didn't it? If I think about where I was 20 years ago, there's tons and tons of things that have changed. I wasn't allowed to drive then, I wasn't allowed to vote then, I wasn't allowed to drink alcohol legally then, I didn't have my own apartment, all of this kind of stuff. All of these things have happened for me in the last 20 years. But I think as you get older, the big milestones are a little bit farther apart. I think that I'm sort of in that stage of my life now where the changes that happen in the next 20 years aren't going to be as drastic as the changes that have happened in the 20 years prior to my recording this video. On a global scale, there's a lot of economies kind of tanking at the moment. Um, Ireland, Greece, and there's a lot of debate as to whether or not the European Union will continue on as the European Union or if something else is going to happen. On a techie side, people were mildly annoyed recently when they thought the iPhone 5 was going to be coming out, but as it turns out, it was just the iPhone 4GS. On a slightly more personal note, there are a couple of things that I would like to talk about in regard to myself in the next 20 years. First of all, Kitty, please, please, please still have this t-shirt. It's an awesome t-shirt, it's comfortable, it helps me find Whovians in really weird places. I hope that 20 years from now, you find somebody who's just randomly nice to you in a weird way. I really hope that the Doctor Who thing is kind of behind you 20 years from now, in that I hope that you've been on the show for a good 10 or 12 years and have moved on to do other things. I hope that 20 years from now, you have your own family and have your own traditions. I hope that 20 years from now, you've been involved in some project, movie, TV, whatever, that has allowed you to be on a panel at Comic-Con. I hope that 20 years from now, you figured out how to stop hating what you look like. That's a really big one that's been on my mind recently. I've spent the past 30 years hating what I look like. I'm tired of it. Of course, it's sort of a habitual thing by now, so it's going to take a while before that actually changes. Those are the big ones, I guess. If I were going to tell the me in 2031 what the big issues are, in 2011. The global economy is not doing so hot. On the US political side, I hope that one particular party who shall remain nameless has stopped going, la la la, I can't hear you until it's our guy in office. And on a personal note, I hope that 20 years from now, you've seen lots of things, done lots of things, gone lots of places, experienced incredible joy. Most importantly, I hope 20 years from now, you've learned how to love yourself. I'll see you guys next week.